Okay guys, I figured out the problem with my drop axle. Right, so let me just take you out real quick while this is building air and I'll show you how I resolved the problem. Okay, so on yesterday when I was working, at the very end of the day I had like one or two loads left. Um, yes, I know that bolt's loose. Um, anyways, the drop axle just went down automatically on its own without me flipping the switch. So I'm like, oh great. So we have this manual switch right here. When it's in this position, I can use the switch in the cab. When it's flipped to the other side, it automatically lifts it, right? This is a manual switch for this drop axle. So I remembered when I was working on the drop axle two or three years ago, I had a problem with the drop axle when I first got my truck running. Uh, it, the switch wasn't working and I found out it was this ground wire right here wasn't grounded I mean it was but it was breaking so anyways so the first thing I did to try and figure out what my issue was I thought it was the switch itself because where is that switch Here it is. One of them actually broke off when I was wiggling it. Of course the camera isn't gonna focus. See, one of the terminals broke off. So I'm like, okay, it's a switch. And then I start jiggling stuff. Once I replaced it and it worked, then all of a sudden it stopped working. So then I determined by using this test meter right here, I had it on and these are fuses right here. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is the old style fuses. They're resettable. This fuse right here is the one that goes to the drop axle. It looks like it's jammed in there pretty good. It's not, you know, where it's supposed to be like these ones. See how these ones are barely out? Yes, this one's popped out. See these ones? They're, they're in, but they're not, you know, they're not maxed out like this one. This one, for some reason, is stuck in there. So, I tested, and I was getting power on one side, but I wasn't getting power on the other side. So I'm like, okay, the fuse is blown. No problem. What I did was, is I looked at all the wires that were going to there. There was the fuel tank, which, you know, obviously I don't need that because I only have one fuel tank. And then there was the pup drop axle, also going to that same fuse, um, which I don't have a pup either, so that's irrelevant. So what I did was I moved the uh, I moved the positive down further on the line. Let me just show you. So you can see this whole side of the strip has power on it. See all those connected? You can see down in there. That's the big main power wire coming in and it supplies power to all these. And then, this is the outgoing side, right? And so this was the fuse that was burnt, so I just moved the drop axle down to a different fuse, right down here. So now, drop axle goes up, Drop axle goes down. Easy peasy, right? So now you have to ask yourself, okay, why did the fuse blow in the first place? Okay, fuses are made to blow for one reason only. There's a short. It's to prevent a fire. Okay, so if your fuse blows, you know you got a short somewhere. Whether it's a serious short or a minor short, who knows? So then, I'm like, okay, the only wire that goes to that drop axle besides the ground, that's the valve that controls the drop axle, the electric valve, right? So there's only two wires. There's a ground wire, which I already determined was good, and then there is the uh, power wire, which goes from the fuse to the hot side of that valve. And so I traced it, 
obviously I spliced in a new section. I haven't got it where I want it yet, but you know, this is another thing that I just figured out was uh, not connected to, I just connected that. But this one, let me just show you the wire. Where'd the wire go? Toss it on the ground somewhere. Here it is. Here's the wire. So this is the drop axle wire, right? Let's count the times it was rubbed through. Let's just count them. There's one, right? There's, this camera sucks at focusing. Here, let's do this. Focus, there we go. So there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, six. I mean, and that's just on one side of the wire, okay? I inspected the rest of the wire, it was all good. The problem we were having was that wire was behind these power steering lines right here. Look how much those lines shake. I mean, they really, you can't really see it on the camera, but they shake. Anyways, it just rubbed it right into the firewall and it just rubbed those spots right into it. You know, you can see how fresh those spots are. So that's why the fuse blew to begin with, right there. A uh, the wire was rubbed through and it prevented a fire, you know, so the fuse blew. Only problem is that fuse, uh, I feel like that fuse is toast because it's jammed in there so far. It doesn't want to reset. So now I gotta go online and buy another one of those fuses to replace that. But I don't even really need to do that because I'm never gonna get a pup trailer for this truck. And I'm never gonna get a another fuel tank. So there's really no point in getting another fuse. But you can see, my process of elimination on how to diagnose things, right? You go straight to the source. You say, okay, you just gotta eliminate things step by step. You, get, you say, you can either start from one side of the equation or the other side. I worked my way from the drop axle up. Some people work their way up to the drop axle, right? So my first thing was, okay, this is the electronic switch that, that uh, you know, operates it. I just took a quick look, noticed that the wires look good. I didn't see anything that was rubbing or out of place. And then I'm like, okay, maybe it's a switch. And I noticed the switch was funky, so I replaced that. Still didn't fix it. And then I noticed the fuse was blown, and I'm like, okay, fuse blown. There's gotta be a bad wire somewhere. So then I traced the hot wire from, that, from the switch down through the firewall and that's when I found all those bad sections and I'm like okay let's just trim this section out put a new section in and then we got it ready to rock and roll again so now the drop axle's up and bingo we have liftoff for the 